A battle between United Healthcare and Care New England continues as the company struggled to reach a new contract by December 31st. But tonight, some patients are breathing a sigh of relief after finding out they won't have to search for new doctors come the first of the year. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us live from the mobile newsroom with what she's learned new at 11. And Karen, tonight I actually spoke with a local pregnant woman who was so worried about our health care that she was actually brought to tears over all of this. But for now, things temporarily looking up for her and thousands of Rhode Islanders. That, that really Jackie Leon Cavallo of North Providence is days away from giving birth to her second daughter. And the United Healthcare member has been warning nonstop that when her water breaks, she'll be uninsured at women and infants. Basically, if I didn't get a prior authorization, when I go into labor and need my six-week postpartum, then I'm going to get stuck with the bill. United Healthcare and Care New England are struggling right now to reach a new contract before the current deal expires on December 31st. And there was also concern that United policyholders would not be able to use Kent, Butler, or Women and Infants Hospitals. Yeah. Hi, you look young. Already, Leon Cavallo has gotten a barrage of letters from United Healthcare saying that she'll be shut out of her normal doctors. I have a lot of health care that needs to be done after the first of the year, and I was very worried about what was going to happen. But now the Department of Health is trying to ease the concerns of United Healthcare patients, saying that no patient can be denied coverage until it signs off on the change, and that won't happen, they say, until more steps are taken. United has submitted that application to the Department of Health, but it has not been deemed complete. It's ridiculous, is what it is. They are taking advantage of the people of Rhode Island, and they need to knock it off. But the Department of Health says the bottom line here is this. We want them to know that, you know, if there's not an agreement reached on this contract on January 1, it's, they will still be able to access Care New England services. And the Department of Health says they have uh, to get to get that. They do have that completed application, and they say once they get the completed application, they have 90 days to review it. Reporting live tonight with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.